Hi, this is Peter. Welcome to another episode of Beyond Canepool. We've come back up here to Table Rock State Park to test out our new... Uh, I, don't know, I hesitate to call it a tent because it doesn't actually have a bottom. It's kind of a dining fly kind of a tent because, you know, all these sides roll down. And it has this awning here. It's from Cabela's. It's a clam... It, it's Cabela's name, but it's, it's the clam type thing. All the sides pop out, it all pops up. Um, the second time we've set it up, so I didn't record us setting it up. There you see the wife's chair in a cooler. Of course we got the mattress, you know, the cots inside. We we'll go over here. And we got the cook area. I got my chair over there for right now, but I'm going to move it back. And then of course we brought our two four-footed friends, Jody and Hunter. Um, Pretty nice um, little tent set up here. At any rate, this thing here is their big 12 foot model. Um, don't exactly know how they measure the 12, but it's pretty big. It's got a pop up hub there, and this all folds up into about a 7 foot bag, which is pretty big, but I got the truck. But each one of these things, these um, panels pop out. And it's got the the things you can roll down for privacy. Right now, of course, it's daytime. Of course, I got my cot and an air mattress, and the wife's got her air cot because it is summer. Sorry about the fast movement. We got a fan going on. This thing's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's solidly in there. I guess a big wind, much like any other tent, might take it down. There's plenty of room inside. We could move stuff around and, and do things. We've got a little tie-out rope. I don't know if you see that orange rope or not. Tied over here to the picnic table so we can put the dogs on it and slide around. Uh, lunch was peanut butter, sam peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Got a few extra sodas. Did forget my pillow, but in my Jeep, I've got a wool blanket in here. I'll probably stuff it in my pillowcase, and that'll have to work. All right, well, the wife was wanting to go explore a little bit. So we'll um, take off in the truck and go look around a little. Okay, before we went and made dinner, we decided to come up Carrot Creek Trail, um, up here at Table Rock a little bit. I've made it probably as far as this old man's gonna make it. I'm a little tired, which, you know, it's not that far if you've ever been up here, but for me, it's a little ways. I, don't know if there's any fish in this creek. Don't know if there's any fishing in this creek. But I just thought I'd show the creek. I'm going to show the other side of this little bridge here. Sorry, I moved the camera a little too fast. And I hope that gives you an idea of the elevation change. There's some really pretty rocks and stuff up here. My wife's taking pictures of. Maybe we'll uh, include some of those in the video. Hey, right, I'm going to continue walking this trail. I don't want to hear y'all hear me huffing and puffing now. Here's another little pretty spot on this creek. It just slides on down that way. But you can look up here to the left. See a nice little stair step fall and a little waterfall back up there in the back. I wondered if that little pool above that waterfall would hold a fish, but I get up there and it looks like it's only like two inches deep. At any rate, we're going to keep walking back down the trail and I might stop one more spot. My wife and I both thought that little spot was really pretty. Sunlight just filtered through the trees and a little patch of sunlight right there on that white ripple. Okay folks, so what's a camping trip without a campfire? Yeah, I know. I got my firewood sitting over there and we'll probably have an actual fire tomorrow night. But I didn't feel like, you know, using just that little bit of firewood that wouldn't keep a fire going very long I'll continue searching for firewood I don't feel like paying six bucks well 650 I think it was for a bundle I might end up splurging and do the 650 I should have brought some from home didn't think about it but what I did a little while ago was I took um, a little Soresto um, flea collar tins which we use for the dogs and yes there may be a little bit of toxic chemical in it but I washed them out let them dry, wrapped up cardboard pieces, just corrugated 
cardboard, you know, from shipping boxes in the center of it, as tight as I could get it, you know, leaving a little space. And I just filled all the voids with wax and I stuck a little piece of cardboard sticking out of it kind of as a wick. And I let it off and I wasn't thinking about it until just now. But it's fully, fully engulfed all over the top of the thing. This makes a nice little ambient campfire. It's not quite dark yet, but, you know, we thought we'd go ahead and light it off and enjoy our dinner. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is the Ultimate Outsider program. And my wife is wearing the shirt. If she'd stand up, it would be better. Let me get on her. The shirt says Ultimate Outsider on the front. Now she's kind of standing in the sun, but there we go. And turn around. It has South Carolina on the back. Um, shows you and lists all the state parks, and then it has the check mark, all 47 parks checked off. That's what you get for being an Ultimate Outsider. Now I understand they're in different colors and stuff like that. You can sit back down. I understand they're in different colors and stuff like that. Um, but that's the one we have, and I have one identical to that, only in a larger size. I'm wearing right now. All right, like I say, we just had dinner. It was, yeah, it was um, beans and um, and hot dogs cut up. We were gonna have hot dogs, and we realized we had a can of beans in our camping food box, and did a little um, did a little alternate. Of course, we got Hunter flaked out over there. This was after walking that trail. He's looking a little tired. Jody's looking a little tired on Mama's lap. But of course, every noise they hear, they're looking up. All right. Well, we'll see how things go. Um, going a couple places tomorrow, maybe. That's some lower falls. Had some stairs to come up. There's a second pier. If you can see the rocks across the way there, that's where you cross over to go up to the ruins. After the walk up here, there's masonry, bits and pieces, next to the stream. There's my lead mushing dog. These are the ruins.
Greenville Wayside Park. Say hi, wife. All right, this is the last day of the trip. Um, last night, I didn't have my camera. It was actually in the truck, and I wasn't going out and getting it. We had a monsoon-type rainstorm with hail. Um, there's a couple pictures of the hail I will be putting in the video bef video um, before this. Any rate, uh, the Coleman stove got some water actually up in the burner, and even though I shook it out, I've not wanting to take the burner apart first thing this morning. I'd been gathering firewood yesterday, marginal stuff. I figured we'd just have a little small marginal campfire. Um, pardon the engine noise, somebody seems like they might be coming up the hill or something with a big diesel. But if you look, the campfire is not burning very strong. It all got soaked wet yesterday. Um, and I was gathering what what is marginal wood. But I waited probably, what, about an hour trying to get this fire to this point. Yeah, I mean, I had to coax it along with some small stuff. I had some fat lighter, you know, get the littler stuff dry and then start putting the bigger stuff on and been fanning it to keep it dry. It's, like I say, it's not a real fire going as much as it's nice hot coals down there. But I'll give you a view of the wood. As you can see, some of that looks a little punky, a little, little rotted, definitely, sorry, definitely all wet. Um, but it's got enough coal down in there and a little bit of flame. Go ahead and start cooking our bacon. I think we're going to, instead of having pancakes, I think we're just going to use bread and make bacon sandwiches for breakfast. Um, didn't get as much video and done as I wanted to get done. We did a lot of walking and a lot of, a lot of looking around. There's some pictures. And I'm pretty tired. My legs are hurting, but I did a lot more than I've ever been able to do before in years. So, it's a sign of me getting better and being able to get out more. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to have breakfast and finish taking down camp. We were working on it past hour. Of course, everything's soaking wet, so we're going to have to go home and no. um, dry it all out. That's the little dog right there. She's She's like, Mom is down on my level. She's got food. And there's Hunter, otherwise known as Crumb Hunter, looking for crumbs. All right. And there's the wife just doing what she does. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, All right folks, as we were um, gathering up things, we found this up underneath our um, rug that we have. Now I'm going to go put them, one of those actually looks like a night crawler. But what we're going to do is we're going to go put them up underneath neath this tree where I had already looked to see if there was bait. So I don't get bait because this site gets kind of sunny in the afternoon. And you see that rot, rotten log, or half rotten log over there? Boy, he's going to put them down by it. But that just goes to show if you need bait, there's bait. And I know there's worms up under that log. I actually rolled it over and rolled it.